if you're looking for safe and reliable account grinds, make sure you hit up my boy Cliff2 underscore three on Twitter. Hey, what's good, YouTube? Happy Friday to everybody out there. Hopefully you guys had a good week, but it is the weekend. Time to get into some videos and talk about this week's content. So today's video, we're gonna be talking about some undervalued cards because on pack days, a lot of cards drop in value. So we wanna be picking up some cards that may still be really good competitively and good for your team or maybe new and just so low on value that it's kind of unbelievable what you can get from them to be able to use in 2K, my team. So this is not a budget card video. This is not like the lowest MT you can spend. This is just cards that you should be able to spend a good amount of MT on and their value that they give you is on par with some of the best cards in the game that may have dropped today. You don't need to spend a million MT to have good cards. So. We had this Luca just come out. You guys know I'm waiting to pick him up. Don't even matter what this video is talking about. We getting Luca, but hey, let's not talk about that. David Robertson, Rudy Gay, Hedo Turklu, Kyle Corbett, Julius Randle, etc. So we're gonna be talking about some of these cards, but also some other undervalued cards. So let's head over to the auction house, look at some prices, and talk about a top 10 list, but it's not really gonna be top 10. There's no order. These are just cards that I think are undervalued in the game. And if you feel you have some that you wanna put in the comments, make sure you leave it down below. I'll be love to hear what you gotta say. So let's get into it. Number one. All right, y'all, first card we're looking at is the Power Within version of Spencer Dinwiddie. Now, this is one of the cheaper versions on, cheaper cards on our list. Like this card is dirt cheap. You can put this on a budget squad, but why is he undervalued? We're gonna talk about that right now. 10 Hall of Fame badges, 40 goals, but he is six foot six, 210 pounds, 99 offense and 99 defense. Going down to his stats, comparing him to somebody like Lonzo, you're pretty, pretty much getting comparable stats to how you would get with somebody like Alonzo Ball. Driving dunk is a little bit lower, passing is around the same, perimeter defense is slightly lower, uh, block is around the same 84 and 75 for a point guard. You're kind of hovering around the same area, to be honest with you. 80 interior defense, rebounding is on par, speed is on par, vertical strength. Everything is on par with how Alonzo is. The only difference are the badges. 29 Hall of Fames to 10. So if you have one with extra Hall of Fame badges, cool. You know, use them. But I wouldn't go ahead putting Hall of Fame badges on them with because you want to use that for other cards. But he's definitely undervalued. A great card that you can use, good dribble style, can shoot, quick shot and he's going for very low NT, just because we have more cards in higher tiers. So just because this card is low price doesn't mean it's a bad card. You can pick this card up and go crazy with him. So that's the first card on our list. Let's move on to number two. All right, number two, we got Chris Stapps Porzingis, Pink Diamond. Now you're gonna have to spend a little bit more NT for him around the 35K or higher range, but you're getting a very solid center. And if you go higher with the MT, you can get more Hall of Fame badges. You're gonna be able to find cards with more Hall of Fame badges on them. Um, but this Porzingis is pretty sweet. He's a staple in a lot of competitive teams. And what you're getting is a seven foot three center, 99 offense, 94 defense out the box. Mid range shot, three point shot, you already know it's good. 95 standing dunk, ball handles a little low. Steel 75, perimeter defense 75, interior 85. That's very good for a Porzingis card. He has very good defensive stat, can rebound. He has good speed with 80 and 80 acceleration. Definitely wanna bump that up. But overall, this card is nice. Lateral quickness, he does struggle, so you want to boost that too. But overall, you're not really going to notice it because his player model is so big out there. He comes with 10 Hall of Fame badges, but if you're going to find one with extras, I would definitely recommend Brick Wall, Rim Protector, Interceptor, Intimidator. That one's probably going to go for tons of MT with 250K coming up. But if you can find one, that will be very good. This card is definitely undervalued because he is a top center on many competitive teams can get the job done inside, outside, can defend, but yet he's going for 35K MT because we have other players out in the higher tiers. So if you have a chance to pick up Porzingis, you need to stretch big, this is the guy to definitely grab. All right, the next one we got is Galaxy Opal, Zach Levine, shooting guard, small forward, going for around 50K or so MT, very low in my opinion. Again, it's not budget, it's undervalued. At the shooting guard position, he is going to go crazy. Now, we're not gonna use Moncrief to compare. Let's lose somebody like Reggie Lewis. Now, Zach Levine is not a defensive player, so we're gonna keep that in mind. 99 offense, 95 defense, six foot five does hurt him. If he could play point guard, he'd be way undervalued. But going down to his stats, offensively, he's probably one of the best cards you can have in the game. Do his jump shot animation, how he dribbles and all that stuff. 
So three point shot, 94, 98 driving dunk, 87 dribbling. Defense is actually very good for him for the kind of player that Zach Levine is. You're getting an 89 steal, 80 block, 89 perimeter defense, 82 interior. You can't ask for much more with this card. You're just going to throw some shoes on him. He's going to be fine. Great speed, great rebounding, good athleticism. Overall, a solid card with stats. 15 Hall of Fame badges out of the box. None of them are going to be on the defensive end. If you can find some with some extra Hall of Fames on defense, you're going to have a solid card here. But right out the box for 55K, you get one of the top cards in the game, and you're paying cheaper than you would be paying for the Galaxy Opal Kobe Bryant or, or the Dark Matter Kobe Bryant and, you know, T-Max and stuff like that. They're going to be better defensively overall, but this card is going to give you some very solid output, and he's definitely undervalued. Let's move on to the next one. All right, next up, we are looking at Thurl Bailey, Galaxy Opal, the Evo version is very nice now he does have a twitter poll going on i do think that cedric maxell is actually winning that but thorough bailey is an amazing car going for less than 30k mt i think you can find it for like 25 but he is six foot 11 at small forward shifty dribble style 99 offense 98 defense his stats also are very good only issue with him is you can't upgrade his badges but out of the box He's pretty much like having a Giannis Antetokounmpo on your team that can shoot better and move better with the ball. And he's definitely a, he's worth it. He's worth going to grab for the MT that he costs, the badges that he comes with, everything that he comes with is just top tier. So for him to cost this much is extremely undervalued and definitely a card you should be looking at picking up on days like this when prices start to crash due to new content. All right, next up we got Jared Allen, center power forward eligible from the all-star packs we had a couple weeks ago and this card is very good. Going for hovering around 30K or a little bit more MT, you're getting a beast. And the reason why he's going so low is because we have more and more centers coming out each week. D-Rob just dropped today. Shaq, Dwight Howard, lock-in came out. So people are starting to go towards those guys and forgetting that we already have some great cards out. Now, I currently do not run Jared Allen, but I've gone up against him a couple times, and he's definitely a menace. Six foot 11, but his body and his wingspan is way, way bigger than that on the court. He's more of a defensive guy, but his offense does get it done with an 82 three-point shot. Some of the highest per center that we do have in the game. 90 standing dunk, good ball handling, 97 block. You're not scoring on him inside very easy at all. His block and interior defense is on par with the Galaxy Open David Robinson that just came out today. And D-Rob's definitely going to be going for higher than him. Offense rebound, better rebounder. He has around the same um, strength and stamina, but D-Rob definitely does have better speed. So you're going to be having a faster car with guys here with D-Rob. Going to the badges, again, D-Rob's going to have more badges because he's a newer card. He's one of the newest centers, and he's a sought-after center. So D-Rob is definitely worth his price, but I will say Jared Allen is undervalued for what he gives you. Brick wall, rim protector. He does have interceptor and intimidator, rebound chaser, post move lockdown. If you put some extra Hall of Fame shooting badges or just some general shooting badges on him, he's going to be able to give you a very good card out there at the center position. And he does get the job done either or power forward or center. He can play both. Definitely think this card is undervalued for what he's going for. Look to pick him up if you're looking for a center that can get the job done in unlimited in whatever you play. Limited, clutch time, he can get it done. All right, now I am always amazed when I see this guy's price headed down towards 19k and under for the base version but look five extra hall of fame badges you're going up to 40k and then you can probably find one with even more hall of fame badges if you just look for it. 16 right here for 40k and what kind of card are you getting with with uh Karolinko? ak-47 one of the best cards in 2k always the swiss army knife six foot nine 99 defense 94 offense can get it done all around three point shot at an 88 Driving dunk 80, good ball handling. Defense is literally the best in the game. You can't get much better than this besides like a Josh Smith or a Kawhi Leonard. He's going to be the best defender out there most times. Rebounding great, speed great, strength is pretty decent. You can boost that a little bit. Then go into his badges. Just want to find one that has some extra shooting stuff that you like because his defense is going to be on par. You get him to stand and shoot wide open and you have one of the best overall cards in the game. Adding things like brick wall to him will definitely help him out at the power forward position. But if you move him down the small forward, he's going to help you even more. As we start getting more tall cards in the game, we're starting to get away from having centers or, or power forwards that are 6'9", 
Um, so we're gonna move them down to small forward just so we can have a bigger team. That's just how 2K goes. So put him at your small forward position. If you're looking for a lockdown, he can stand and shoot. He can defend with the best of them, and he can dribble pretty decent. Doesn't have good dribble style, but he is 100% undervalued. All right, now this guy's a little bit more on the expensive side. It depends on what time of the day you're looking. As packs continue to get ripped and more people want new cards, his price is gonna continue to fall a little bit. And it may just be today. So if you're watching this video today and you can find this K for 100K or less, try to do so but keep in mind 250k is this weekend so a lot of these cards might go down even further afterwards keep that in mind after this weekend 250k people are going to start selling their cards more the want for them is going to be a little bit lower so 100k and you're getting a card that just came out last week that everybody wanted comparing him to lonzo ball he's two inches taller 99 offense 94 defense all around offensively he's a beast his triple style his behind the back move all the stuff that he has is pretty good offensively you can't ask for more plus he's six foot eight so he can score inside easily defensively you want to boost his stats but he plays better than he looks on defense as far as his stats goes rebounding is very good speed very good his animations are top tier with his jump shot and moving ability his uh, badges are pretty decent if you're a good ball handler, but you definitely want to increase his defensive badges Give him some different things out there on the defensive end clamps interceptor intimidator Those are the ones that he's missing and that's why he went down a little bit more in the price But if you have some extra on hand if you can find one with extra He's a hundred percent worth the price and that's why I think he's undervalued All right I talked about this card a little bit in the last video But we got Evan Mobley up next and his price has gone down even further now that new price new packs have come out today so you're getting a seven foot power forward and we got 15 hall of fame badge you can find one with shoes and contracts all over them just pick you can find one that you like they're going to be like this all day so let's look at this one seven foot 94 offense 90 99 defense offensively he can shoot the ball very well his release is a little bit wacky you got to get used to that standing dunk driving dunk all good ball handle is great 95 block 92 interior defense Perimeter and steel are very good. He's a power forward center. He's going to be able to defend anybody on the court with his wingspan and how he moves. 87 speed, 87 acceleration. Boost that up. He's going to be one of the fastest players on the court based on his wingspan and length. 88 lateral quickness is great. Going to his badges. Interceptor already with him. Intimidator, two of the best badges in the game on defense. Limitless spot up. He can shoot from deep. Do you want to put quick first step on him? Most likely. Definitely get it up to gold so that he can move faster with the ball, but everything else you can just use him out of the box. He doesn't need anything else because he already has everything that he needs. If you want to throw some extra stuff on him, go ahead. But he's just going to be able to stand, shoot, put quick first step on him. He'll be able to move. Everything else, it just depends if you want it or not based on the center and power forward position. Evan Mobley's 100% undervalued. I think a lot of teams should have them if you have the MT to, MT to pick this guy up. All right, now we're at Rudy Gay, and I'm not sure if you guys remember the pink diamond version of this guy, but he was one of the best cards and most sought after cards in the game. And as we get more small forwards and power forwards in the game, these cards are going to start going down more in price. If I were you, I'll be looking for a signed version so you can have that extra Hall of Fame badge, but it's not needed that much. I did see a couple of these signed versions out here a little bit ago around the 349 mark. As you can see right here, we have two signed versions that you can get for 100K MT. Now, when we look at Rudy Gay, he is one of the best small four power forwards in the game. There's a lot of them, he's one of them. All 90s, as you can see, for his post and everything, if you want to post up with a small four to power four, he's one of the best guys to do so with. Going down to his three point shot, 91. Drive and dunk, 97. Ball handle, 90. 85 block, 90 perimeter defense, 86 interior rebounding is great speed is great why is this card 100k just because we're flooded with a lot of small forward and power forwards and we have dark matters in the game now 19 hall of fame badges one of them being clamps interceptor so defensively he's going to be great quick first step he comes with and you can probably find some with extra hall of fame badges on him rudy gay first day dropped 100 percent undervalued just because we're flooded with this position i think he's definitely a pickup for any team looking to add to their squad all right and last but not least somebody that i already have on my squad and i'm looking to actually upgrade the version that i I have is Galaxy Opal Scotty Pippen. Now he comes with 17 Hall of Fame badges, but I will be searching, looking through the auction house, trying to find a deal. 20 Hall of Fame badges, 22, 25. I'd pay up to about 130k for my Scotty with some extra Hall of Fames on him. This one right here is going for 271. Somebody knows Scotty's value out here, but be very choosy. If you want to get the base version, try to get them for the lowest amount you can get. If you want to get one more extra Hall of Fame badges, make sure they make sense. Shooting ones. Deadeye, 
blinders, things like that that are going to really boost Scotty's value so that you can sell him back later in the future. But this card is on par with Kawhi Leonard, with, you know, Terry DeShinger, all of the best cards in the game, but he defends better, or better or if not the same as Kawhi, and his offense is just as good as those guys on the offensive end. So I do not think there's any reason why this card should be this low besides of how many is in the market and how many other cards we have as shooting guard and people just wanting dark matters now. There's no reason to not go ahead and grab yourself a Scottie Pippen, one of the most undervalued cards in the game right now. And that's what I say are the top 10 right now. There was no order, like I said. Just wanted to show you guys what I think. I am still waiting to get Luca today. Scotty is on my squad. And just to show you guys my team, I sold some players. But I do have D-Rob that I actually pulled today with NT. I got Scottie Pippen that I've had since last week or so. I have Karolinko on my team. He plays on my squad right now because I know that he is such a good player. I have Porzingis on my squad. So these cards that I was telling you guys is not just saying anything. I do use them as well. Make sure you guys pick some of them up if you're looking for some undervalued card that you don't have to spend over 200, 300K MT on. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video, man. I'll catch you in the next one. We got some more videos coming up soon. But until next time, peace.